Hey guys, welcome. My name is Dasha. Today we'll learn how to add decimals and fractions. They're a bit different, right? Some fractions, like one third, are hard to convert to decimals since it repeats. To add them, it's best to convert to fractions first. We have seven examples today. Some can be done mentally, others need more thought. Let's start with the easiest, 0 0.5 plus 1 half. Let's convert 0 0.5 to a fraction. It can be written as 5 tenths, as directly stated, 5 tenths plus 1 half. 10 and 5 are both divisible by 5, so let's simplify. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. It's 1 half plus 1 half. We're adding identical fractions, but let's follow the rules. We should have the same denominator. With the same denominator, we just write it, put 2, and draw a line. We write 1, then the plus sign, 1 more, getting 2 halves. It equals 1, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1. If you knew this already, give it a like. The next example is a bit trickier. 1 6 plus 55 hundredths. We'll write it exactly as we see it. Equals, we can divide by 5, 155. We keep 1 sixth, then add 55 divided by 5, which is 11. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. To add these fractions with different denominators, we need a common one. How do we do that? 60 will be our common denominator, right? We can divide it by 6 and by 20. So 60 divided by 20 is how many? 3. And 60 divided by 6, how many is that? 10. So it's 10 plus 33, which gives us... Oh, 60, um, 43 sixtieths. It's a bit of an awkward fraction, but that's how it goes sometimes. Now, 3 fourths plus 0 0.75. You probably already guessed that 3 fourths equals 0 0.75. But we need to prove it. So, 3 fourths plus 75 hundredths. We rewrite and divide. Let's divide both top and bottom by 25, both numerator and denominator. 75 divided by 25 is 3. 100 divided by 25 is 4, 3 fourths. We add them up, right? We have the same denominator, so no problem at all. 4, 3 plus 3 equals 6 fourths. Hmm, we can extract a whole part. Exactly. One whole part, yes, and we still have 6 minus 4, which is 2 fourths. How else can we simplify this? One whole, one half, as we divide 2 by 2 and 4 by 2. Next example, 1 third plus 7 tenths. How do we need to divide and find a common denominator? Well, here we have no smaller common denominator than 30. So 30 divided by 3 is 10, and 30 divided by 10 is 3. We multiply 1 by 10, that's 10 plus 7 times 3, which is 21, and here it will be 30. So 31 divided by 30. 
better to get the whole part, right? One and one thirtieth. Great. Five and seven eighths and two tenths. Five and seven eighths plus two tenths. Five and seven eighths plus one fifth. Let's use a common denominator of 40. Okay, so we multiply 5 here, 8 there. How much is 5 whole? 7 times 5 is 35 plus 8. Divide by 40. We get 5 whole. What's the result? 43 fortieths. Can we get another whole part? We get 6, not 5. 3 fortieths, it's actually 6.075. But that's not important right now. This answer works fine as is. Here, 1 fourth plus 3.75. Well, let's simplify it. What are we doing? Like our example here, it's 3 fourths because we're dividing by 25. We get 1 fourth plus 3 and 3 fourths. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. It equals 3 whole. We have a fraction here, same denominator. So we write it as the common denominator here. Here we get 1 plus 3. What does that equal? 3 and 4, yes. 1 plus 3 is 4 fourths. What does this mean? It's simply 4 because we have another whole one. We're at the finish line now. If you solve this, you're doing great. 4 and 3 tenths. 3 tenths plus 3 fourths. Let's multiply it this way. 4. Common denominator will be 20, right? We'll write 20 here. So 20 divided by 10 is 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. It's 3 times 2, 6, plus 3 times 5, 15. Adding up. 4 and 21 twentieths. Of course, we single out one and another whole. Our numerator is larger than the denominator. It's like what we had here before, right? We get 5 and 1 twentieth. What exactly is 5 and 1 twentieth? Well, 5 and 1 tenth is 5 dot 1 comma, right? And 1 twentieth is half of that. So that's 5.05. .05. I hope you got it all. For more fraction practice, check our 6th grade playlist. They cover adding and subtracting various fractions. Welcome to our channel. Good luck on your test. Bye-bye.